Next up on Howler for an hour, we have Abyss, the Forgotten Past. This seemed to be a bit of a uh, platforming action game, kind of a bit of a Metroid-like. Looked pretty interesting. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what vibe it was going for, besides, well, medieval. But uh, I want to take a look at it, see how it is. It's currently in Chapter 1 right now. It has a free prologue you can play as well, if it looks interesting to you. Um, on its seat page. But apparently Chapter 1's released right now. It looks like it's going to have five chapters in total, so it's still an early version. But uh, let's take a look. Well, first though, if you like the video, do give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing it, because it helps out a lot. But it's even more helpful is if you guys come want to come by my Twitch. You can see my content early. Hang out with me, interact, sometimes participate in stuff with me. And you can help me reach partner, which I'm trying to aim for. And it would help a lot to get there. Um, also, we have a cool Discord community, a lot of cool people. Check it out. But anyways, let's play Abyss the Forgotten Past and see if this is any good. Hmm. Well, I will play slot one. There seems to be many items. I can get I can get silver, I can get gold, I can get health and mana potions, I can get topazes, and I can get logs. <laughs> one of these things seems one of these things seems a little out of place for an RPG, but alright. <laughs> logs. I like logs. <laughs> Ooh. Sometimes I think of how lucky we are. A vast and beautiful universe with different cultures. But there are always those who crave chaos, destruction, and misery. For ages there have been mortal capable of unbelievable things, whether they are good or bad mortals. And a legend has always been told about the greatest and most devastating war. But the god of death begins to search for power, a legendary blade, wielded by the bravest of warriors, commanding the largest and most powerful army, if peace were rise to all. This legend has been made me believe that something was coming. And this time, it will not be a human that will make us suffer, but it will be a being of unimaginable power. But I also have hope for this hero that was mentioned, and I think I have found him. <laughs> uh, just just to call back from the previous Howler we just did, when I read the line, but there are always those who crave chaos, destruction, and misery, and I was thinking to myself, and they're called lazy horror game developers. <laughs> Press A to skip. Uh... I had to press it like seven times, but all right. All right, here we are. We're writing down something. I'll need some supplies. Those are good. Supplies are good. Press up to interact, L to move. Is the game noticing? I'm not sleepy yet. That's fine. So another letter to that sorcery it hasn't answered me for months. I'm noticing an immediate issue with the game. Though I will leave the house before I comment on it. My learning books, epic tales, and more. No period needed on that one. All right, let's leave the house and see if I'm still having the issue. Maybe it's just the tutorial messages doing it. Oh, nope, it is actually happening. Is it just me or did I never start the timer? No, I did, it's just... What is the timer doing? <laughs> Are you okay? I... Hold on a minute. So one thing I noticed when I started this game was that it, it, it... This game runs in a weird engine that seems to have weird aspects to how it captures an exploit. And now I'm noticing these are not frame drops, mind you. Some of you might think to yourself, oh, is Charm dropping frames on his stream? No. The game is just not running all the time. You can see it as I move around. There are just moments where everything pauses. Consistently, in fact. 1,001, 1,000, 1,001. Yeah, it's like every 1.5 seconds. There's just a pause. Let me, uh, check something. Because now I'm curious. If I simply remove the feed for you guys. And go back to the game. Oh! So it has nothing to do with XSplit. I just, I stopped capturing the feed to see if the issue would stop when I did that. Because if it was an XSplit related issue, removing the feed would stop the issue. However, it's doing it exactly the same way, even with the feed off. That means that it's not an XSplit issue and it's in fact how the game is interacting with my computer. Does the game update its window tile? Well, you may notice like, 
there. You just lost, you see how you just lost uh, access to see the game for a second? That wasn't me turning the screen off. That was the game just losing feed with XSplit. This game is doing something really fucking bizarre. I'm going to try something. I'm going to window the game. I don't know if this will help. I knew, I knew, I was suspicious right from when we started this game though, because the first time I ever load this game up, it froze and I had to kill it. So, this engine, whatever this engine is, is clearly a weird one. It's not Unity, it's not, it's not your typical, you know, engines that you'd expect that the most people use for game development. It's clearly something a little bit more unique. Um, I've now windowed the game. It doesn't really look any different for you guys, but it might change how the game plays. So, we'll see. Okay, granted, it will change how the text looks, I think, a little bit for you guys, but that's fine, whatever. Yeah, it looks kind of janky now. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Does it run better? That's what I'm curious about. No. I can see the torch is still lagging out. <sighs> I don't think it's Godot because every... Godot is a very uncommon engine too, or Godot, however you want to say it. Godot's uncommon, I don't see it all the time, but whenever I played a Godot game, it runs exceptionally well. It seems like a very stable engine. Love 2D though, I've never heard of that one. But yeah, it's still doing it. So, uh, what I'm going to do... Also, for some reason or another, it's, it's also hurting our timer. The timer itself is... Uh, suffering because of this game and i don't understand that's a really weird that one i have no explanation for why the timer would be randomly cutting out that's poor snaz is getting affected by this game why the fuck is this game even affecting my countdown timer it's a separate program that's just off to the side i don't even know also why not select language again all right well we're gonna keep it in full screen and we're just gonna play i guess Also, oi, is that just a Minecraft house? I was not even paying attention to the visuals because I was more concerned about the frames. <laughs> this game has a fair free for log, so people can test to see if it starts to taps in them too. Actually, yeah, uh, go ahead and link it up here. So if anybody wants to do a side test for me right now, let me know if it runs well or not for you. That would be interesting to see. And again, I should note, because I know some people are still not up to date on this, I used to have a pretty bad computer. I've replaced it. I can guarantee you my computer is not at fault in this situation. <laughs> uh, this is just a pixel art game too. Uh, that's not just a Minecraft house. Hi. Well, thank you so much for everything you've done here. We wish you good luck, Leonor. Leonor? Leonor? Leon? Leon? Leonor? I guess Leonor. I've never heard a name like that before. I mean, I've heard of Leo, but locked. It makes me sad. So can I like fight or just, hello? Good luck, Leonor. Thanks. What am I doing? Seems to have mixed reviews and people say there's often crash. Well, it crashed right the first time I loaded it, so people say it's crashing. Well, that does seem to indicate. This seems like a clear indication of this is a this is a shoddy game engine, or at least it's not being used well. And again, I apologize profusely for the constant loss of a frame every 1.5 seconds. Why is there just a door here? I understand this is probably a building under construction, but who the fuck finishes the door, puts a free static, and then it's like, I'll build a frame around this. The fuck is this? <laughs> All right, um. But yeah, I'm just, <laughs> this is hurting me internally. Just the aspect that I'm losing every 1.5 frames, there's going to be a stutter. It, the fact it's so consistent also proves it's the engine and not my computer or the stream or whatever. Because if I was actually having frame drops on stream, it wouldn't be this consistent. The fact it's doing every 1.5 seconds indicates to me that there is something going on with, the, with uh, something in the engine, something in the engine that's constantly running is having a stutter in what it's doing every 1.5 seconds. Hey, later. I'm going to interest in the temple. I heard you're going on a jury tomorrow. Bowen, right? Good luck, my friend. You didn't capitalize the G and good luck. That is not this game's er biggest issue, but I figured I'd mention it. Oh, okay. Sword. This is very disappointing. <laughs> yeah, prologue saying it's pretty bad. 
Tetris down to fall. Wait. Wait! 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 Okay, so up to- uh, so up on D-pad was interact, and I was okay with that, right? I thought to myself at the time, that's kind of weird that- So, like, let me explain. The D-pad doesn't do movement. Only the analog stick does. I'm on controller again. So the analog stick does movement, left and right. So when I saw that D-pad up, I was like, that's kind of weird. And I tried pressing up on the analog, but it didn't work. I'm actually gonna double check that statement, though, just to make sure. Gotta go back to that one guy. Yeah. So I was like, that's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that I can't press up on the analog stick that I'm using to move to uh, talk to people. It's kind of weird I have to press up on the D-pad, but whatever, it's talking to people. That's not a super act active activity when you're doing mid-gameplay, mid you know? So whatever, I guess if you want to interact but I mean that, that's fine. Maybe you don't want to accidentally tap it and go through a door or something while moving. Okay. But then we get to this. Press down on D-pad to fall. They're not kidding. Down on D-pad, it lets me crouch. And fall, apparently. And fall, apparently. And fall, apparently. How do you do this? And fall, apparently? Okay, we'll get to that issue in a minute. The issue I'm currently discussing is down on D-pad does nothing. I mean, I mean, no. Down on D-pad does is the only thing that does nothing. Down on the analog does nothing is what I meant. <laughs> down on analog, up on analog, do nothing. Left and right analog, let me move. D-pad does not let me move. Down on D-pad lets me crouch and fall. Up on D-pad lets me interact with people. Why the fuck does the analog stick not work with these D-pad actions? Also, how do I actually fall? All it says is press down on D-pad to fall, right? Well, I'm doing that. I'm tapping it rapidly, I'm holding it down. Neither of these do anything. I try pressing jump while holding down. No. Tap and jump. No. Tap and... Y, X, A. Legitimately cannot fall. Legitimately cannot fucking fall. How about a, uh, how about a whammy combo? I'll press down D-pad and down on the analog. No, that doesn't... Nope. <laughs> okay. That was super down and it didn't work. <laughs> um. The fuck? <laughs> okay, well. Maybe I need my sword put away? No. Oh, no. I. Guys. I have never run into such a lame situation in which I cannot progress in the game. Tutorial wants me to fall through a platform. I can't fall through the platform. This is a new level of like holy shit I did not expect to be stuck in a game like this. I There's nothing on my controller. I haven't tried. I have tried pressing every button in combination with down on d-pad nothing 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 works nothing fucking works I I I have a lot- like, listen, this game is clearly built for the controller. B, Y, R, analog stick, press down, D, pad, default. I- there is some keyboard control, but I don't understand it. If I press right and left arrows, I can face left and right. FACE! Left and right. I can't move left and right with the arrow keys. I can also press down. I guess it's kind of behaving like the D-pad, but the D-pad doesn't let me face left or right. So the arrow keys do, though. For some reason, I guess I'll. So down on the on the keyboard, let me fall. Down on the keyboard, let me fall. Not down the and then the D-pad, not down the analog stick, and not down with anything actually on the controller, but down the <coughs> fucking arrow key, let me fall. And only down on the arrow key let me fall. I had to s put my controller to the side, or I had to hold it with one hand, move to the d move to the keyboard, and press down, and then return to the controller. Holy crap! <laughs> okay, how let's succeed as oh that at least that actually did. Okay, you notice how I did a three-hit combo? 
Well, first off, I can't seem to do a three-hit combo now, but also I pressed X once! Why did I do a three-hit combo when I pressed X once? Maybe there's an animation for breaking the door? Also, now I can't do a three-hit combo. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> this is... The level of failure here is... I mean, the frame rate was damning enough, but apparently it doesn't stop there. Thanks for the potions. I'm going to drink myself into a coma. This does contain alcohol, right? I also I can't fall through these, but whatever. No, the down arrow. I'm um, game. Uh Um... Oh, okay... Oh, there is a... Oh, I was picking up a delivery and now there's... <laughs> there is at least an indicator telling me, hey, house! That being said, why is there a bridge that goes absolutely nowhere? <laughs> Oh no. I just realized an inherent problem about going back. There was something I was casually noticing when I was uh, doing this fall. This jump? Oh, okay. Oh my god. So, this is an impossible jump. You don't quite have enough height to make this jump. But don't worry, you can glitch against the wall here. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to jump these? They don't even hurt you. <laughs> I was I was specifically told to jump over these obstacles. They don't hurt me. <laughs> the the amount of everything here. <laughs> This is not how you make a video game. <laughs> there, I'm home. <laughs> Yay. Can we get to fighting? I want to see how bad that is. <laughs> like, I'm legitimately curious how bad the fighting is. G guys, oh no, scary. <laughs> guys, if we don't have an enemy glitch into a wall by the time I'm done, there's something happy. Is someone attacking us? If we don't have an enemy glitch into a wall and walk off by the time we're done, then then something's gone wrong. Because that is what I expect now. <laughs> Game devs, why would you even release this? Wow, they even set the incomplete house on fire. It's pretty rude. How's this wood stone burning? I guess maybe some of the other side's burning, but... Yeah? What's that sound? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Answers that question. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I have a thought. Ah. <laughs> I wanted to get behind it. I get the whole, oh no, the town's on fire because this is a RPG and thus our hometown needs to burn because fucking... What's originality, right? But like... I like how the one thing they program correctly is the fact that... No, actually, wait. <laughs> They actually timed the rock such that it's very hard to actually, like, backtrack before it hits you. That being said, I'm going to break this, because at this point this game deserves breakage. Alright, there, that's far enough, right? Yeah, I thought so.
Yep, I thought so. <laughs> I legitimately thought that would happen. So now I've soft locked the game. And I can't re-enter my house. I was going to try saving. I legitimately wanted to know if I could save into a soft lock. But also, entering the house may reset the rock, I was thinking. So now I'm debating between going, Oh no! I soft locked the game! I guess that's the end of the game! And also restarting so we can actually see how shitty the combat is. P pick your option, folks. Car Pyrrhus, run a poll for me. Streamers, the stream chat gets inside on this mess. I don't need to go any further to understand this is a bad game. One minute timer. Lightning round. I can hit the wall and make sparks. Why is there that attention to the detail when this game has no attention to detail? We well, want to see the combat. You seem they're competent enough to do a cutscene like that without breaking things. Let me, uh, while, while people decide. Let me also see if the game was smart enough to save any of my progress. I'm going to load. Nope. Also, I like how this fact, despite the fact that I selected English, the game actually starts in Portuguese <laughs> and then <laughs> quickly turns into English. Yeah, let's check out the combat. That's, I mean, it's. I think I advanced the dialogue too quickly, and I have now soft locked again. <laughs> uh, okay. I <laughs> uh, just stood up and just fucking went brain dead. My apologies, game. Let me go ahead and just take your take my time and stuff. <sighs> How many soft locks can we find? Oh, do not answer. Do not ask that question. I can find you plenty. Oh great, so that means I can't advance the text boxes too fast, or? Oh, is it just me, or is he like flapping his mouth as he talks? Or as he writes? Is he like wording out the letter he's writing? I will say though, this whole we lose a frame every 1.5 seconds thing is making me legitimately angry. <laughs> There's nothing I hate quite as much as a game not running smoothly. <laughs> I don't care how it looks, necessarily, but as long as it can run smoothly, I feel okay. If it cannot run smoothly, I want to die. If that's dramatic, I'm sorry, but I want to die. <laughs> Will the combat be bad? Predict now. Oh yeah, sorry. Down arrow key. Okay, that's how I only did a two-hit. How the fuck did I do a three-hit combo? Maybe it's that 1.5 leg interrupting the three-hit. Maybe I can't do a three-hit because of that. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Charm, this is God. How many me damn signs do I have to send you before you start playing? No, I just... It's, it's, it's not so much a case of I need signs to stop playing. It's more a case of how far can this... It's more a case of curiosity of how far... How deep a hole can this game dig for itself? That's really the main curiosity here. That's true. The game did just tell me to jump. I just assumed the grass was deadly because I couldn't cut it.
Well, that is quite a difference of points. If the watch the combat be the only thing that works well. <laughs> though I'm noticing one thing immediately though. I did a three hit combo at one point. I have no idea how I did it. I would say maybe it has something to do about time strikes, but I can't fucking time strikes when every 1.5 seconds we have lag. So I legitimately... Wait, maybe it's just... Did it just crash? No. But it died, did die for a while. <laughs> that wasn't... Again, that was not a frame drop. That was the game just having a brief heart attack because it exists and it doesn't know how to exist. Oh my god. Progress has been made. Dead person. I don't care, but I'll, I will... I will... I would interact with you using up on the D-pad, but since the game's not allowing me to do so for some reason, I'll keep going. Oh wait, I can't. Are you... No. No! No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to press up on the on the keyboard now, <laughs> apparently. Apparently now, up on the D-pad and down on the D-pad both don't work. Also, we're in a temple, I guess. Gotta keep that keyboard in hand. Trust the old keyboard. Locked. Yeah, I... I legitimately, up on the D-pad stopped working too now. That's a, that's even more impressive. It's one thing to say like, oh, down the D-pad doesn't work. The controls aren't working correctly for this button. It's one thing for a button to not be working correctly. It's still a huge mistake. But it's one thing to be for a button just to be not working properly from the get-go. It's another thing entirely if a button works for a while and then it just stops working. What the fuck even is that? <coughs> how did the how did a specific part of the controls crash itself? I don't even. I don't even know. I, I'm like fucking dying here. I don't, coughing and stuff. Oh, really nice ledge. I appreciate getting up here where there's literally nothing here. All right. Um. Oh, keyboard works just fine? No, no, my friend. Carcerous, if I press left or right on the D-pad, my character faces those directions, but can't, but does not move those directions. I can you press A to switch my sword. Maybe there's some like really bizarre keys that let me move left or right. That, okay, I found my attack key, it's X. Oh, what the? I did a combo somehow. I don't even know how I'm doing these attacks. Uh, from what I could tell, I'm, I, I think, I'm pressing all the keys on the keyboard to see if left and right has movement somewhere. I think left and right on the arrow keys is supposed to move you, but it doesn't, it just makes you face. I think it's supposed to be able to move you, because there doesn't seem to be any other buttons that move you left and right. So no, the keyboard controls are also broken. But at least the keyboard and controller controls are broken in different ways, so if I use them in combination, we can use all the controls! Wow, isn't that great? Oh, precision platform, 1.5 second lag, good. Really? Is this just precision platforming? I guess so. I mean, I did it, but... Are you sure it's doing that because you got the controller plugged in? Do you want me to unplug the controller right now with how this game is behaving? Do you want to see what the game does if I unplug the controller midway through playing it? Do you want to see it have an aneurysm, or...? Because <laughs> that's how we cause a game to have an aneurysm. <laughs> oh, I tried WAS, and that was one of the first things I tried. Like I said, I literally pressed every keyboard key. Aside from, uh... I guess I didn't press the function keys, but... If the function keys are tied to movement, I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> or like, I didn't press like, you know. Oh, cool. Oh, this is a enjoyable platforming section. <laughs> Numpad arrows? No, that, they do react. No, they also make me face left and right, by the way. The numpad arrows, I just tried them. Do you also, I also like how some platforms just uh, disappear, but it's also not clear which ones do. That's a fun feature. 
That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that platforming section. It reminds me of Labyrinth Zone in Sonic 1, which was, of course, a lovely level everybody loved. Hello, evil sorcerer. Leave the table immediately. Only when you fix your grammar, sir. Immediately has two Ds. Or wait, uh, two Ms. I mean. Get out here before I attack you. I, t I is capitalized, sir. My existence and my objectives are beyond your understanding. Including my use of pronunciation and capitalization. <laughs> Our main character doesn't know good grammar. I'm Tatatoes, the god of death. Only lowercase death, though. The, we ha There's also a god of uppercase death. He's a lot more impressive, but... <laughs> These runes are important for me, and I will have them at all cost. At all... At all... Co a singular cost? Okay, it was not that... You're not that... You're not that indebted to them, are you? Because, I mean, you're not going to... Not at all costs. Just at one cost. He, look, he's, he's he wants them, but he doesn't want them that badly. No, the exposition dub at the beginning... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No punctuation at the end of that. Uh, I feel the power of the runes. This power... This willpower, y yeah? What about it? I can't let him get this power. Okay, cool. <laughs> I've got to get out of here. All right. Can I do this? I mean, if you stop fucking talking, you can. Yes, I'll try. Okay, cool. The world's destiny is on my hands. Okay, the only time we say on my hands is like, his blood is on my hands. <laughs> you don't say on my hands unless you mean something bad. Also, I guess the world's exploding now. Title drop, oh boy. This is Abyss, the forgotten good game development. <laughs> <laughs> also, rainbows. Mm. What, what, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, if you're wondering why the fuck I'm suddenly cussing, D pad lets me move, crouch, and go up and down now. Also, I still can't crouch with analog, but suddenly D pad lets me move left and right. Mm. You know, this game is very advanced. It constantly changes how the controls work on the player, so the good player must adapt much like the character has to. So I guess I'll use the D-pad now. Fucking sure. <laughs> Never mind, D-pad, stop letting me move now. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> D-pad worked on that one screen for movement and then it stopped. <laughs> also, here's fighting and gold. This game, how do you even make it? I'm collecting red coins. Oh, they're gold coins, apparently. The combat exists, by the way. <laughs> I think the run direction still hit it. I still can't actually intentionally do a three hit combo, by the way. And yes, we're still having that stupid 1.5 drop, so it's still painful in a way. Apple. I mean, the music's okay. For... Hi. So... The game... The character's doing three-hit combos on his own volition. And it's flabbergasting me. I'm literally pressing X. I'm literally just going tap, and he's like, "Oh, I think he come with the skeleton." Wah! It's like, okay, why did you do that? <laughs> I literally don't feel like I have control of the character. Oh, okay. Um, up. I nothing. Sorry, nothing. Okay. 
I mean, I don't mind the hit behind. That was actually kind of nice, but... Why is that gold coin in the wall? Oh, it's because it's... How about this? Saf Sapphire Collective of 1P. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's the developer's clearly Portuguese first, so... Bad English is acceptable, but it's not acceptable when it's also stacked upon all these other issues. That skeleton was just casually falling. Skeletons are very light, apparently. I mean, I guess they are, kind of. Bones are not... I guess... Well, bones are still kind of heavy. <laughs> like how the, the guy was... So, that enemy... That enemy's spawn location was mid-air, so when I loaded the screen... Uh, he... fell. <laughs> also, despite the fact that I can activate the volley platform, I can't land on it. Because again... Again... It seems like- oh man, this seems like the same height as that other jump. Remember that one jump I couldn't do without glitching against the wall? I think, legitimately speaking, the developer thinks that- built this game in such a way to accept- uh, The g developer built certain platform heights too high for the player's actual jump. Without meaning to. He just fucked up. Which indicates something very clearly to me. If it wasn't obvious before, but... Yeah, see, that jump's only doable. So that indicates also a lack of playtesting, like, building a level, not testing to see if it's actually fun to traverse and possible to traverse, even. I mean, I, there's another way I can get up there, but still. Oh god, I felt the ledge not mean to. Yep. I mean, the sprite works, like, alright, I guess. Suppose. I think the only true positive I could say is the music, and I really hope this is custom music and not just taken slain. <laughs> because at this point, I'm actually suspicious of everything. Goodbye, Mr. Fly Falling Skeleton. Where'd, where'd you go? Wait. <laughs> The arrow killed him. Oh, I see that. That's weird, because skeletons shouldn't be really that injured by arrows. Okay. Oop. Wait. I'm... Wait, what? What the fuck just happened there? I wasn't even swinging and I was attacking. I thought it was a Goomba stop at first, but no. Also, nothing about a double jump necessarily, car, because I just went around and got those. Yeah, visually this game looks all right, which is why I wanted a key. That's why I, that's why I accepted a key for it. Um, because it visually looks fine, maybe slightly generic, but I was like, okay, the character's main, the main character's design is good. I, I was like, yeah, this seems like it could be good. Certainly seemed like it at the time. So I I guess I don't know what Oh god, there's an enemy there. And now the screen is just randomly scrolling to the right. Okay, cool. Just, also I missed the chest. Wait. Uh, welcome to the world map. Here you'll learn more about this world, it's like your next adventure. The stages are numbered, the more you play, bigger the number bigger will be the number displayed. Use wide see the controllers at any moment. <laughs> For early moment the controls change, so maybe that's useful. Red stage means they are complete, green stage are complete, stage gold stage are hidden and have hard. So, this, wait, is this not a metro video? It's stage based then. Uh, I wasn't expecting a stage map, I admit. Oh, yeah, also deep had to move now. Just, sure. So, we have a Commander Keen esque world map. I've only, I've only been playing this for 40 minutes. It feels like an eternity. I got some wood. Good. <sighs> What's this? Okay. By the way, before that moment, I don't think I could have saved. So if I had run into another softlock, it would have been restart the whole game again. Uh, fine. I don't... I mean... Yeah, I don't. I thought this was more Metroidvania, but okay. 
At the start of this stage, I had to take a second to figure out what the controls were deciding to be today. Third it up. <laughs> oh, okay. That spelling of sapphire is making me unnaturally upset. Ow. Oh, I leveled up with wind chimes. Thank you. <laughs> so, do I have, like, an ex experience menu somewhere or is that just okay so maybe you do backtrack and get shit later I don't know I don't even see how you're supposed to do that jump so am I I'm, I'm on fire this game's lit bro in, in the sense that it's probably catching on fire because it's poorly made <laughs> much like my character <laughs> Did I just, like, do a jump off of What the hell did I just do? Oh, that's gonna end poorly if I- No, I can't do that. I know I can't. <sighs> Guys, the enemy's despawning can't even function correctly. This enemy didn't completely fade out, <laughs> unlike the others. At least I think they're supposed to fade out, right? Let's, let's check on this guy. Nope, yep, yep. <laughs> Even an enemy dying couldn't be handled correctly by the game. It- uh, Ah! I fucking called it! I fucking called it! I fucking- Let me kill this guy before he kills me. I fucking called it, though! Look! I fucking called it! What did I say earlier? Ah, uh, we gotta play until we at least get an enemy in the wall. <laughs> because I fucking know how bad games work, guys. <laughs> I know how bad games work. I think the question of is the combat good just got completely answered for that one, at least. See, guys, I know bad game development. I understand it. And I think that proves it right there. I think that proves my the legitimacy, the legitimacy of that statement. Holy crap. Also, yes, this jump sucks. Oh, God damn it. Got a fucking bubble in the way. If anybody gets that reference. Is that the new combat, though? It's an enemy, and it's fucked. What do you think? So why are bronze coins red? I'm just kind of naturally upset about that. Is that a death down there? I don't even know. Oh, this is not a good idea. Oh, these jumps. What's this? No, seriously, what's this? Oop. <laughs> He's going on an adventure! Goodbye, Mr. Skeld! Have a nice trip! Oh, I have to do this. Oh shit. This is required? <laughs> Who is that? Was that the wall guy? Was he leaving? No, that's a different guy. <laughs> Wait, Charm, the enemy wasn't stuck on the wall. Yeah? Okay, care to explain why enemy literally standing inside of a wall wasn't stuck on the wall? I guess if you want to say theoretically he could get out, sure? I don't know if that was the same enemy though, man. That could have been a different one. <laughs> At this point, it's really hard to tell. Also, I don't think I was supposed to actually jump up this direction. Ow. I need an apple. Oh, bugger. Gotcha. Apple. Actually, I need a... Potion, there we go. Oh wow, potions barely heal you. Alright, let me just chuck half my potions then. Also, I may have skipped the checkpoint. That's gonna bite me in the ass later, isn't it? It was the same enemy? Okay, well, fair enough. To be fair though, my statement still stands. He was stuck in the wall. I never said how long they need to stay stuck in the wall to be stuck in the wall. 
he was stuck in the wall. If, if you get stuck somewhere, does that mean, I guess I live here now. I'm always stuck. I'm never going to leave. I'm stuck here, so I'm never leaving. No, it doesn't. You can be stuck somewhere and then get out from that somewhere. That's, that is a thing you can do. Just to how the fuck do I get out of this situation? Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Guys? Ow. Guys? Damage boost? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> there was a coin down here! You're definitely supposed to go down here! Ow. Oh, it's not a soft flux, it's like I can technically kill myself going back to the beginning of the stage because I never hit a checkpoint. You know. What I'm trying to do right now is, because I know it's probably possible. I'm trying to get a boost off the spikes. Ah, fuck it, let's just die. Wait, I did hit a checkpoint at one point, okay. Just, it was practically the beginning of the level, but I guess I technically did. Okay, bye. <laughs> Wall guy is there again, by the way. So that's his default spawn location, as I figured. For some reason, it looks like the switch... No, the switch didn't stay lit. I'm guessing I have to do that, so... I guess I'll go back. By the way, you want to know how fun it is to make edge jumps when the game's pausing every 1.5 seconds? The answer is it's not. Also, I may have just killed myself. Yo! <laughs> <coughs> I had a Philly. So when that cutscene happens, you can still move and kill yourself, probably. <laughs> also, if you're wondering why I'm coughing, it's because I'm. this game is making me ill, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking don't know. I got to tickle my throat. Maybe it is making me ill. <laughs> uh, anyways. Oh, I get it. I'm not supposed to get up here, probably. So I'm supposed to find two switches before this point, so that I I don't know why you did three cups. So I can get through the door, right? I think. Or maybe I'm supposed to get up here? I'm not really sure. I'm really, there's a checkpoint right there. I want this checkpoint this time. Yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling that would happen. But I wanted to at least try to get the checkpoint. <laughs> Also, I'd like to note one lovely little thing. When you restart a stage, you don't keep your po- Give it a second. Give it a sec- there it is. Oh, this game is a hot mess. I think that thing is a double jump. I love double jumps. Oh, that's- I get it. Double jump so I can- yeah. That makes sense! That also makes sense with a jump with a- Right, so I guess I'm supposed to find two switches. But there's one down here. Okay, you know, but there- Alright, fine. <laughs> Which means there's probably another- Also, is that sound of me respawning the sound from Skyrim? Alright, bye. Oh, alright. Well, a double ju jump seems kind of fucking vital for this terrible game, so maybe I should... Try to hit the switches. I mean, I know where one is, I just don't know where the other one is. If you've seen a switch, let me know. Wait, no. Of course it wouldn't be that simple. I mean, I'm not- it's not- it's not too cr crazy that I used a weird wall jump trick, though. Wall core trick, because I literally had to do that in the tutorial to actually progress, if you recall. Because of how wonderfully well made this game is. So, I love how this area doesn't have a death sign, but it is still his death. 
so I can't fall here. Which also leads me to a perplexing situation of where the fuck's the other switch? <laughs> where, where do you guys think the other switch is? <laughs> Tell me your thoughts. Alright, bye man. <laughs> Directly in front? Oh, was it direct? Was it a hiding place? I would like to note that the platform rejected me upon turning directions. <laughs> I did level up, however, because pain is an experience, apparently, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Okay, just, just listen. I I want to get out of this level. Well, I want to get out of this game, but let's, let's take things one at a time. Okay, so I don't trust the platforms anymore. We'll hop off them as soon as possible now. For some reason, these long jumps are not that bad. Oh, this guy left, I guess. Oh, by the way, who here is unnaturally annoyed at the leg every 1.5 seconds? Is that... Has, have you guys gotten used to it, or is it just, like, annoying the shit out of you? Tell me. I'm curious. I can never get used to things like this. <laughs> Alright, nice cutscene and all, but I'm just gonna move forward. <laughs> I'm just gonna nice cutscene and animation all I'm just gonna keep progressing it's a speed runner trick I'm dead nope not dead by the way if you're wondering if the jungle jump is good no I mean it, it technically works but with the leg. Oh god, anything, any movement with this random frame like. By the way, this random frame like, I've seen it in like Game Maker before. I wonder if this game's made in Game Maker. It would not surprise me, actually. Oh boy, oh boy, what do I get going up here? I get a mana potion, I don't care. I don't even have any friggin' spells yet. I'm, I guess you'll get some? Zero three, oh no. Uh, I just hate that games like this exist. Oh, the chest roof generated for some reason. Like, uh, I opened those before, but okay, sure. I'm not gonna complain. I mean, I don't, also don't really care, because I'm not continuing. What a- wait, is there a boss fight? Like, it just occurred to me. I should probably save. I'll we'll see what this game can do. I like how even this fucking world map screen has that leg issue. I need to get to a boss. Also, I like how it's displaying the wrong stage for a second. Alright, what's our controls today? Alright, good to know. Down? Yeah, no, fuck that. Down? No, fuck you. Death? No. Not yet. You can kill me later. We're trying to speedrun here. Okay, so I need to unlock the slide rune or something. That was kind of meanly placed, but I don't even care anymore. That's not even the biggest, the most egregious issue. Also, I don't regenerate health between levels. Oh, that's neat to just notice randomly. <laughs> I started with low health because I ended with low health on the last stage. Oh, I love a game where it's stage-based, but it also keeps your health between levels. That's so fair. So, uh, what's, what am I doing here? That's definitely a slidey point. I guess I didn't need to have a slide for. All right, that's the level. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> boss fights are always boss fights are technically 
boss fights are traditionally a way for the game to cap off what it's done, you know, what's built up to, and show, hey, here's what I have, you know. So if we can get to, if we can get to, that was literally just the same graphic from the first stage. But okay. If we can get to a boss fight, we learn a lot by the, from the game about. We, again, boss fights are supposed to be called either randomly a Mega Man enemy, or it, it's a combination of yeah, what the game's combat is built up to basically. That's what a boss fight should be, anyways. So. It has just occurred to me that since I got the double jump, I can basically cheese shit. Oh, good thing I landed next to the tree. I was tempted to hold, keep holding right, but if I had done that, I would have fallen, so. Wait, is that mean the only will way to, will way? Real way to replenish my HP is to, oops, is to, uh, die? <laughs> like, if I die, I think I recover my health to full again, right? So, the expedient thing to do before we're going to do a stage is fucking die. <laughs> I just kind of realized, I've just kind of re reached a- oh. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, never mind, dying only gives me half- wait, do I only ever have half health, or... Is that just... Was this just incidentally what I ended up with here? Oh, I have one potion there, I ate it, look at that, amazing, isn't it? It looks like to fill your health bar up from near empty, it takes like... Eight potions, so... Do I have potions? Never enough. <laughs> I had like 12 a little bit ago. I chugged them all. Just to heal. <laughs> they are shitty potions. I guess I can break some barrels from the potions, but... Alright, so I kind of learned my lesson here. I need to be a little bit more careful. I'll stay a little bit lower just so I can see the platforms. There we go. Wait a minute. Guys. Guys, something weird happened. Guys. The 5 seconds leg stopped. Or the 1.5 second leg stopped. Why? <laughs> Why did it finally stop? I would normally be happy, but why did it finally stop? It took, it was here for so long, and now it's not. Why? Maybe it's just this level? Let's go back to the world map and see if it's back, because it was there before the level. Oh yeah, it's back. <laughs> Or V? That sounds like a boss fight name. Turns out snow thing chills things the fuck out. What do you know? <laughs> what was that face? It's a vor snake. Cause this game redeemed itself via vor. Probably not. <laughs> Hi. I mean... That's not eating. That's killing me with your jaws. I am a moving tile. Watch out. Oh no. You must run away. Never mind the game froze. Oh, oh, what the? Well, okay. Ah, so if the game freezes... It doesn't stop the boss from moving forward, which means that every 1.5 seconds of leg I have... Yeah, the boss is jutting forward every 1.5 seconds. <laughs> Meaning that every time, even if I move perfectly, he is technically always going to catch up to me because of the leg. Oh, surely, but... It, that huge leg spike gave him a huge boost, but even the, one point, even the brief leg gives him a boost. So in other words, he's always going to actually... Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I mean, he's not, he has to kill me. Thwomps, how original. I figured that's what they did, but... Didn't check in the last level, so... Yeah, is the prediction still going? You should probably end that. Just like I should end this game, but, you know. So, is this a boss fight or just a really lame running away section? Oh no, he's killing the Thwomps, how rude. 
Oh, I, I got some. Got a bit of a lead on them there, actually. Also, how long is your running away section? So far, the answer seems to be way too long. <laughs> the music stopped. Music ran out of. Oh. So that wasn't even a boss fight. Also, gotta love how Xplit keeps losing focus of the game because of how bad it is. <laughs> Every level transition is like. I'll tell you what's going on with that, because I know how XSplit does auto capture. What the game is doing when it transitions between levels or maps or whatever, whenever the game cuts out for your guys' feed, that's literally the game. Oh, new map. That is literally the game. Make, loading a new window entirely. It's not even... The game is moving to a new window, and that is why XSplit is having to take a second going like, oh, okay, there's another window to capture. All right, the first window went away. I gotta capture this new one. And it takes a second. I don't blame XSplit, because that's fucking bizarre. Why is the game changing its window? <laughs> Anyways, this just keeps going, I guess. Next world, I guess. I have... Wait, did you lock the save point? Hold on, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did you lock the save point behind Fog of War? You locked the save point after a stupid run away from the thing that kills you section? And you can't go back. So wait, after your quote-unquote boss fight slash hard gauntlet running away from enemy, you don't let the player save until they beat another level? <laughs> okay. Well, fortunately, I don't care. I'm going to quit anyways. <laughs> Abyss, The Forgotten Past, a game mired with the most perplexing of design decisions and the most janky of game engines. I am legit curious what engine this is running on. If anybody knows, do tell me, but... Oh man, this is just... There's just so much wrong with this. I cannot even believe how badly this is put together. I need to look at the cost of this game real fast. Um, let's take a look and see. It's currently 15% off. Not that that means much to me, but the cost of the game is, I mean, okay, is that, wait, is that off or? It looks like it's three, four, five dollars. Can't quite tell actually. CAD makes it a little harder for me to, and I can't tell if it's discounted or not on this screen. It's not that much money, I guess, but... What's that matter if it's not fun? Graphics are okay. I wouldn't give them a good rating. I'd say they're all right, but not very inspired. Like, the quality is competent, certainly, but the inspiration is low. Uh, music's fine. There's some good songs, and there's some songs like this title screen where I'm like... Oh, there's a harp. And it is... And there's a flute. And they are played. That is a song. Congratulations, you game. You have produced a song. <laughs> That's all I can say about this title screen song. But, um, yeah, I... 289, no discount. Oh, my goodness. This isn't worth money. I'm sorry. It's just... This is messed up. This is too messed up. Even beyond all the bugginess, I see some design decisions that are intentional that I also don't like. Such as the, um... Just... <sighs> Just everything being so generic and just kind of bullshit level design to some degree too. Oh man, I don't know, man. That was the that was abyss, the forgotten past. And I tell you one thing, I'm gonna forget this into the past. Ugh. <laughs>